Hello, witchlings. I was going to film this yesterday, but the film got ruined because the microphone picked up the rain more than my voice. So I wanted to try this again today. It's not raining anymore. Instead, it's now just muggy and hot. But I wanted to talk about something that a friend of mine had on their Facebook. Do you know what a continuity error is? It's whenever something is different from one frame to the next. But I saw a status posted by a friend that said, how do you know that what you're doing is right? And it was meant in the context of social justice work. Now this actually applies to any ideology. How do I know what I'm doing is right? To be honest, you really don't. There is always some level of uncertainty whenever you are discussing subjective topics, and I really don't think it's anything that we should necessarily be afraid of. After all, uncertainty is inherent within the universe. The better we know position, the less we know momentum when we're talking about particles. The better we know energy, the less we know time. It's just a fundamental fact of nature. So even on the smallest scales, there's already some level of randomness to the universe. It kind of makes everything else trivial. What does it matter if it's the correct path? as long as it benefits everybody, including yourself. We mustn't be selfish and only include ourselves, and I think it's also selfish to only include one's in-groups. Being self-centered in those ways has often been the folly of many throughout human history, and we should be looking to advance through time not regress or stagnate. We look at things relative to one another. We are looking at the outcomes and comparing them. Which one is the path of least resistance? Which one is the most beneficial? Which one will help the most people? We're using different metrics, depending on who you are, to try and figure out What's the best way? I certainly don't want to dictate your life, but in the case of abortion, we're talking about spending money on either ER visits after a botched one, or we're talking about spending money on preventative measures to halt abortions in the first place. So, which one's better? Honestly, to me, that doesn't even seem subjective. It seems logical to conclude that the one that benefits everyone is the best one. If you disagree, I would love to know your reasoning as to why. Alternatively, what metrics do you use to figure out if you are on the right trajectory during your journey through life? Also, I'd like to apologize for disappearing for just a bit. I got sick and I was dealing with other things, so I couldn't make it. But I'm still here and I am always on Facebook, it seems. So I do hope that you stay safe. It's a difficult world out there and the news is awful every single day. But know that you are incredible, and I appreciate you, no matter who you are. And until next time, goodbye.